As the protests and violence in Myanmar drag on, opponents of the country's military coup have now announced that they're forming a national unity government. It will include ousted members of parliament, protest leaders and ethnic minorities. They say their aim is to remove the military from power and restore democracy. And they hope to win international recognition in the same way that the United States and Britain backed opposition leader Juan Guaido as the legitimate leader of Venezuela in its own turmoil. Myanmar has been in crisis since the February 1st coup. The leader of the toppled civilian government, democracy champion Aung San Suu Kyi, remains in detention. Over 700 people have been killed, according to a monitoring group. Meanwhile, political leaders, including ousted lawmakers from Suu Kyi's party, have been trying to join forces. Here's the Unity Government's Minister of International Cooperation, Dr. Sasa. We are democratically elected leaders of Myanmar. Yeah. It's free and fair. 2020 election was free and fair, and it was democratic. So if the free and democratic world reject us, that means they reject democracy. It's very simple. That means they reject the people of Myanmar. Sasa added that the objective was to end violence, restore democracy, and build a, quote, federal democratic union. A spokesman for the junta could not be reached for comment. Before the coup, Suu Kyi's government had held power for five years and was starting its second term, following a landslide election victory back in November. The generals have justified their takeover with accusations of election fraud, something the Electoral Commission has dismissed. Western powers have imposed some sanctions on the military, though the generals have a long record of dismissing what they see as outside interference.